I knew nothing about this game until it was given to me by my good friend Daz. Friend status pending. And cheesy is one of the ugliest things I've ever seen. Within the game, the colours are drab and the models are disgraceful. And even out of the game, with all the creative freedom in the world outside of the PS1 graphic restrictions, <laughs> yep, yeah, it's, it's even worse. Look at this thing. This was supposed to sell games. Have you ever seen Sin City? You know who that yellow bastard is? The vile and disgusting pedo who can't get off unless he hears their victims scream? I'm convinced that Cheesy was based on him and then named after what he smells like. Everything wrong with this game is clear and screaming at you from the offset and not just from how ugly it is. The story here is that you're a mouse that gets stuck in a cage in a castle only to be released by aliens. That's all you're gonna get. Then the game starts. Now, this is a 3D platformer and the first thing you notice is how it not only plays like Resident Evil with a top-down perspective and tank controls, but also gives you so much momentum and so little friction to your feet it's like piloting a submarine. You'll be steering into things and crashing into walls before even figuring out how to jump onto a higher platform, after which that absurd weight and momentum is carried over to side-scrolling parts. Oh, well, I mean, after a long-ass loading screen. Then as soon as you figure out how the controls work there, you could fall down a hole again into another long-ass loading screen, meaning you have to very awkwardly climb back up to the side-scrolling part after another loading screen. I mean, you can see how bad things are from the footage. You see how I'm almost moving around like I'm drunk? That's the controls. I dare you to try jumping on enemies with them. Sometimes the game even just doesn't let you defeat enemies when you clearly jumped on top of them. And you have to work with these controls around some of the most basic, squared and maze-like level designs I've ever seen with mouse holes that spit you out at unrecognisable places. And then just as you get the hang of one gameplay style, you're immediately thrown into another gameplay style. It could be a top-down shooter where the gun does not work at all, or a sewer ride on a leaf where anything more than a vague tap of left or right bounces you off walls into debris, or lasts for minutes and minutes with fences and rocks getting in the way forever. Call me crazy, but I think I can see why Cheesy never caught on. Believe it or not though, this is not the worst 3D platformer I've ever played. I mean, it's truly awful, but at least there's some attempt to make something worth looking at, even if it falls apart entirely, and at least the side-scrolling actually controls like it should despite you feeling like an elephant doused in sunflower oil. So if you're looking at this right now and thinking, oh wow, this is bad, well, <laughs> it just gets worse from now on, so hold on to your socks. I can only end this part of the Bad Rent calendar with one comment. Daz, you're an arsehole. You lost at least 12 friend points giving me this game. <laughs> Do you feel like you need to wash your brain out after seeing some truly awful video games? Well then how about go to the description below to chrono.gg forward slash caddy where you can get a really good Steam game on the site every single day for a ridiculously cheap price. Be quick though, the offer only lasts a day and then it will change tomorrow.